Hey, um, New Year's Eve, right? So yesterday I was talking about no need to fake it because sometimes you have a mess and then sometimes your bed is made and I'm still trying to figure out a good place to record, you know, but anyways, um, I, I keep having different things, you know, it's just me, myself and I, and, uh, I got me for life. So I want everybody to understand, even if you're in a relationship, it's okay to be, um, not in a codependent relationship. That's exactly what you're not supposed to be in because that's a toxic trait. So in the sense that means that you can give, yes. That means that you can give and you can receive, you know, when you rely on somebody to do for you, then you're in an unhealthy situation because you're not learning to do for yourself. And it's almost like us as adults are having to learn to take these baby steps again, these things that say, oh, I can do this. And I know the world we live in, it's kind of unbalanced because you really do need two people to be able to support a household. But that is beside the point. But even if you do have to be in a relationship, make sure it's something that's going to benefit your soul, you know, something that's going to allow you to keep dreaming big and working with your partner in a way that's going to build both of you up instead of tearing each other down. Because we've all been there, you know, we've all been in that situation where, oh, why are you doing it like that? You could do it like this, where somebody's going to keep pointing out the negative to you. So I just want to keep encouraging you to hold your head up. You know, I've always told my, my kids, um, head up, shoulders back and put your chest out. Know that you're proud of yourself. Know that who you are is exactly who you're supposed to be. And you can always work to become a better version of yourself. But in the sense, don't sacrifice yourself just to be with somebody because you're afraid to be alone. So now that we're coming in, tomorrow is our new year, right? It's a chance for that new cycle. So start closing doors on those old toxic cycles that serve you no purpose, that keep you on a merry-go-round and then you're just like I want off oh my god because once you realize that it's toxic it starts eating up at you especially the more you choose not to leave and you know that you're in a bad situation it will start um things will start poking at you in a way to make you explode and that's eventually to get you to walk away because that's the universe trying to move you around saying you don't need to be in the situation that you're in because we all tend to outgrow things I mean if we look at people like clothes, <laughs> you outgrow certain styles, certain um, sizes, colors, whatever it is. You, It's a change and it's okay. Change might be scary, but if you look at it as it's exciting, what's it going to bring to me, you know, then you can start embracing it. Then you can start getting on the ride and be like, woo, this is awesome and see where it takes you. Because, I mean, like I said, you can... You can spend your whole life doing the same thing over and over and expect expecting a different outcome, but I'm pretty sure Albert Einstein termed that as insane. <laughs> Don't lose yourself, especially if you're sitting here trying to think something's going to change. Oh, just give it time. It'll change. It's not necessarily how everything works because the more you wait and you, you hope it will change, there's a possibility that you're in a situation that is meant to break you because you aren't learning to walk away from it. So with this new year, I challenge you to start pushing things to the side that don't serve any purpose in your life. The things that bring you down, the things that make you second guess yourself, the things that make you not want to get out of bed, the things that put those nasty thoughts in your head and make you feel like you're a failure or you fear the future or, you know, you know, the, the emotions and the thoughts that plague you as a person. So about to head out and go visit with my parents and get ready for <clears throat> New Year's Eve because we have a busy day. Um, I just wanted to bring that note to believe in yourself and trust yourself and know that whatever is going to come in this new year, embrace it completely and be excited about it. But um, for now, I'm going to leave it on that and peace, love and light.